Hello everyone, I am Olivier, I am a Generative AI Engineer at Boulder and today I wanted to show you how you can easily set up your first OpenAI Assistant under 15 minutes with no prior background in AI or any experience. No more talking, let's get to the code. First of all, let's look how does this work. So I have, I have my OpenAI Assistant ready right here. The Boulder OpenAI Assistant provides a REST API that is available just after configuration and running the application. It even has WebSocket server if you need one. So it is really customizable and available to integrate with your own website. Let's suppose I have fight related website and I just want to ask the OpenAI assistant what is expected price of the flight from Washington DC to Paris. I click send button and I should have the response in a minute. Oh, and it's right now. So I have my answer and you will have the same result just after this tutorial. So watch it till the end. As OpenAI Assistant is NestJS library, you have to be sure that you have your NestJS installed globally and accessible through your CLI. This will allow us to generate our NestJS project. Let's begin. So I'm, go I'm generating my Nest new tutorial open AI assistant. Choose a, pen, a name for your project. Uh, choose your package manager. I recommend NPM as this is a recommended in our, uh, in our library that we'll be using. And right now our NestJS project is creating all necessary files. So we have to we have to wait a while and we will be back in a moment. It seems that our package is installed right now. So let's check the directory. Uh, change directory tutorial open AI assistant. Let's go. I will open it in my code editor. So yeah. Okay, and what we see now is the project files that we'll be working on. Uh, first step is we have to touch .env file. This way we can we can store our uh, our keys that I have prepared right here. You can you can download the keys templates, the .env template from the repository, OpenAI uh, Assistant repository, and you can just paste it in your project. So right now I have key pasted. Uh, make sure that you have your key ready. Uh, you can generate it in your OpenAI playground. If you have created the file .env file, then we have go ahead and install uh, needed packages, necessary packages. So first one is Boulder Open AI Assistant, and we have we have to have installed the Open AI uh, package as well. So right now I'm installing this and. It should be ready in a moment. And as you can see, I have my packages installed. So I will right now generate a new module called chat uh, module. Yeah, called chat. And I have my new module right here and I will copy the sample config right now. 
as this is a first step we have to take is write a config. I won't do it from scratch as the repository uh, contains a sample configuration file that I want to take advantage of. So I will create a new file called chat.config.ts and I will go to the repository. Here I can find uh, in the readme, I can find the sample configuration that I will just copy and I will paste it right here. Uh, remember that you have to, you have you the, to have your packages installed. So the TypeScript uh, see has no problem with the file. Okay, I will adjust this config to my needs, as I'm not going to use any file right here. So I will just delete this and. As I have no files declared, I will use this tool and will just leave the code interpreter. As you can see, you can define many things right here. As you can define the model, temperature, instructions, and tools. You can also, in the another file, you can also specify the ID, which we will uh, just get through the nth uh, variables and all the tool resources, uh, which in the most cases are just files or, uh, or anything else. So what we have to do right now is to just import our config and we will get uh, closer to the end by doing so. And so I go to chat.module.ts. What we have to do now is just import this chat.config.ts in our chat module. So I will import assistant module oh. assistant module from our package boulder open AI assistant and assistant config from uh, from our config that we have pasted right now and I have to make sure that this is uh, in our imports in this module and we just made all the necessary things that are needed to run, make the first test run of our assistant module. As I haven't prepared any instructions just to simplify the whole process and any tools for our assistant, I it will be generic and it will do not anything uh, besides just answering the questions that we will send. So uh, let's see how we can test it. So I will make npm run start death. And right now we can see, oh, we have, we have, uh, oh yeah. I see that chat module is, yeah, well, oh, something went wrong right here. And right now we have our application ready. As you can see, the library itself generated some endpoints that will allow us to make our first API requests to our assistant. Let's switch to the Postman so I can test it in better visual way. I have my postman ready, so we will do our first request. First of all, we have to do uh, this, we have to create new thread according to OpenAI documentation. So 
I will set just an empty body, an empty object in the uh, request body. And what we need from the response is the ID of the thread. We will use it while uh, creating uh, our first message and our first conver conversation. As op OpenAI creates these threads and this keeps the context of our conversation in these threads and this is recognized by the thread ID. And what, we, what I have right here, I will, I will do this request while changing the thread ID and I will send a such message. So I provide the object with thread ID and content, and this is uh, this is all we need. Uh, of course, if you want to uh, to provide more information uh, while uh, while doing a discussion with the assistant, please re I would like you to see our documentation, uh, which is provided in the repository or. Uh, in the npm js uh, package website so uh, i will send this content uh, saying i am john doe and what is your name and we have our response from the open ai assistant isn't it awesome so we have hello john doe i'm an ai assistant and I don't have a personal name, but you can call me assistant. How can I help you today? So this was how we can, uh, how we can run our first OpenAI assistant. I will just to make sure that this is all correct. I will, uh, I will ask him what is the name? of USA capital city and I am gonna send it and as you will see um, for example uh, if you would like to retrieve the thread uh, you will you would get the messages that we have sent previously and this is uh, also possible, but uh, by, by keeping this thread ID. And we've got our response. The capital city of the United States is Washington, D.C. This is all for today. If you want to learn more, wait for another videos uh, and tutorials showing our OpenAI Assistant library. Please also go to our documentation and to our repository as there are a lot of a lot of informations put down there and what more if you find any issues or have any ideas please don't hesitate to just post it in our github discussions or just contact us please notice that this is just the beginning I just wanted to show you how you can start your journey with your AI assistant. You can move this into your product, into your website, especially if you are using our repository. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to leave your comment in GitHub discussions or under this video. If you like the video and want to see more, please give a like or post a comment. This will help us in recognizing what is the most important feature that you would like to see. Thank you for today and see you next time.